after a brilliant 2-1 win against Croatia in our first game in the Euros, we go again just four days later as we take on Scotland. Am I tailor-made to beat the old enemy? <laughs> Hello, 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 people. Welcome back to the channel. It's me, TaylorMade Gaming, back at you once again with another video. And today we've got episode two of TaylorMade to win the Euros, where I'm attempting to do just that with England. Hopefully, we can do it. As I said in the intro, we got a brilliant win in the first game. Today, we've got Scotland. And just before we get into that, and just before we do have a look and see what else has been going on in the group, do just want to say once again, thank you to Dodgy Gamer for making the database which made this series possible. Once again, links to his video introducing the database will be in the description down below. And in the description to his video will be the links you need to download the files to play this series and play this save for yourself. And if you are giving this tournament a go, please do let me know down below who you're going with and why and how you get on. So, yep, that would be very cool. And so let's get straight bang into this. Let's have a look. And, yep, we obviously won our first game against Croatia and the Czech Republic and Scotland drew their first game nil nil so a win here today guarantees us a place in the second round which would be very very nice so then we can rest people against the Czech Republic in the last game and yep let's go and see about the team for this game not many changes from the first game. It's pretty much the same apart from two changes. Hope keeps his place in goal. All of the back four keep their place. So it's Bertrand, Maguire, Rice, Alexander-Arnold. And then in the midfield, it's Henderson, Bowden and Madison comes in as the left-sided Mazala. And then up top, Grealis replaces Raheem Sterling, just because Sterling had a very poor game, in my opinion, against Croatia. So we're dropping him for this. Sancho keeps his place on the right. And Harry Kane, who scored both of the goals in the game against Croatia as they're pressing forward, keeps his place. If he can do something similar today, he might just become a legend of English football. How very nice that would be. Imagine if he got a hat-trick against Scotland. The man would never have to buy a pint anywhere in England ever again. So, with that all said, let's get slap-bang into the game for this against Scotland. Come on, England. I'll be back with you when we're in the dressing room. Here we are. We are in the dressing room. And this dressing room is located in Hampden Stadium, not Wembley like it will be in real life. So it's going to be interesting to see if that plays any part in the game. Because you would imagine there'll be more Scottish fans than English in the stadium. So I'm going to go pump my fists. Just like we did in the first game. Uh, I don't want don't to say we should be winning this one fairly comfortably. Uh, let's give the fans a performance. And, oh, for once, that has actually got some kind of response. Nick Pope, Trent, Jordan Henderson, James Madison, Grealish and Kane are all motivated. Very happy with that. You know what? I'm going to predict a 3-0 win. Come on, England. Five minutes into the game, and we did have the ball, but Scotland have headed it away. Lee Griffiths coming forward for Scotland. And can we win this back? No, we can't. It goes back to McGregor. McGregor with the ball into Kieran Tierney. Now, he goes wide to Armstrong. 
Back to Tierney once again. McGregor, Armstrong, and oh, Burke's in behind our defence here. And thankfully, that was a very tame effort. 12 minutes into the game, Jack Grealish is coming into the box. And Jack Grealish, what a goal that is from Jack Grealish. He's cut through the Scottish defence. And he has silenced half of Hamden. Oh my days, let's have a look at this. Madison with the pass through to Grealish. Gone past one man, tries to go past another and eventually does. And then slides it into the back of the net. Jack Grealish is a hero in England right now. 37 minutes on the clock. Nick Pope has cleared the ball long for us. Straight to Sancho, who goes out wide to the goal scorer, Jack Grealish. Jack Grealish always tried to get past his man there, but not been able to, but he has got it through to Kane. And his shot has clanged off Cooper and gone out for a corner ball. Who's it going to be to take this? Going to be James Madison. He whips it in and all oh, goes to Cooper, but all he can do is clear it as far as Sancho. Sancho to Madison. The Foden has got a little bit of space and he's got himself into the box. Tierney with the tackle. I think Scotland are going to get this away. And yep, they do. And that is all for the first half. We are 1-0 up. Scotland have had five shots to our 11. We've had five on target to their three. With an XG of 1.08 to their 0.54. And we're just edging the possession battle. So it's going all rather well. But as we all know, a 1-0 lead is very, very uh, nervy. Not a good, not the best thing to have. 2-0 win would be better. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go I'm not happy. Again, I'm going to prove to be a rather unhappy man. But let's see if saying this can motivate any of them. They're all motivated. I am a man-motivating genius. Come on, a couple more goals now, please. 50 minutes now gone. Jordan Henderson with the ball for us. Coming forward with it. Can he find a teammate? He finds Grealish, who goes back to Madison, back to Grealish. Bertrand has forced his way into the box, but he does need to find a mate who goes to Grealish. Madison in space, and he's hit the bar. Oh, that would have sent the England fans mental. But yeah, it was not to be for the minute. And now it's him again with the corner. He whips it out and it goes away, but only as far as Declan Rice. And what can Declan Rice do? Absolutely nothing. But apparently he wins a free kick. Goes to Madison. Sancho's header and way too easy for David Marshall to marshal that into his hands. Apparently, this highlight's not done as we're coming forward again. Madison to Foden. Out wide to Bertrand in oceans of space. Can he get this ball into the box? No, he can't wide in. He cross it. Across there, and the ball has half a chance of going in the back of the net. But now, Burke coming forward for Scotland. This highlight refuses to end. He's in the box. He's in the back of the net. Oh, no! Oh no! How? Scotland have equalised out of nothing. Ollie Burke. Oh my days. Talk about being a national hero. He's just achieved that for himself in Scotland. As that's poor from Pope. Pope really should have got his hands on that, I think. Half an hour gone and Scotland have got another chance. Ryan Fraser with it. And oh no! Oh, you, that is not a penalty. I don't think that's a penalty anywhere in the world. Oh, VAR drama here. He's given it. No! Oh, my days. The whole of the UK is holding their breath. As Lee Griffiths runs up and Pope, Pope saves it. Yes. Come on, Nick Pope. He has redeemed himself for that error a moment ago. But now Fraser with a corner ball. Henderson gets it out. And now John McGinn gets on it for Scotland. Can we just win this back and, and just get forward ourselves? We've won a free kick. I'll take that. 
Oh, okay. 25 minutes left to go. We've made two changes. Jude Bellingham is coming on for Jordan Henderson. And Sterling, we're going to try him on the right-hand side. He's come on for Sancho. But Sancho really hasn't done anything today. Come on, 20-odd minutes left to go. Let's go attacking and let's go confirm these changes. Just under 18 minutes to go. Alexander-Arnold with the throw into Jude Bellingham, who's got himself into the box. He's crossed it to Sterling. And Sterling's missed. Oh, I was just about to go very attacking. But we're going to see how this highlight goes first. Sterling is into the box. He needs a mate with him. We've got a penalty. I, I think that's a penalty all day long. And is the referee going to give this one? A lot of VAR drama, penalty drama in this game. This will definitely be first on match of the day. And I don't know who it is stepping up to take it. Please be Kane. It is indeed Harry Kane. He steps up, he runs, and oh my gosh! What? A penalty apiece. A penalty saved apiece. What is going on in this game? Alexander Arnold with the cross, and it's been headed away. Oh, this, this is not ideal for my heart rate, boys. All five minutes left to go. I was just about to make a change. Grealish with the cross. McTominay clears it. Now, Burke is coming forward. Please don't score another wonder goal. He might do. He's in. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, no! Oh, no! We are losing to Scotland in Hamden. Oh, my gosh. Burke has made himself possibly the biggest legend ever in Scottish football. Oh, my gosh. Let's let's pause this and let's make some tactical changes. This ain't going well. Oh no. Do we leave it at that? I think we do. Who do we bring on for Foden though? Do we bring on Rashford, Tony or Calvert Lewin? Oh, I don't know. Rashford. Oh. It's all I can think of doing. Now, more direct, through the middle, suit on sight, much higher, extremely higher tempo. Distribute to target, man. Oh, my days. This is not good. And, yep, that's the changes. Rashford coming on for Foden. We've gone 4-2-4. Four four. Uh, we're going very attacking. We are in desperation mode. Three minutes left of normal time. Scotland have the ball. Armstrong goes out wide to Forrest. Forrest with it. And he's past our man there. He's going to get himself into the box, I think, here. Do not score again. Oh, thankfully they haven't. Thankfully that was terrible. Oh, my God. We have lost to Scotland. Ah, oh, I don't believe it. We was 1-0 up at half-time. What on earth? Well, have a look at the stats. We had 18 shots to their 15, 10 on target to their 8. They actually had a better XG, 2.51 to our 2.5, and they had slightly more possession. Ah. Oh. It might be all to play for in our last game against the Czech Republic. I've told everybody I'm not happy. Most of them seem motivated. And ah, oh, we'll have a look, see what that does for the group table. And then we are going to leave it there for today. Okay, so after two games played, Scotland unbelievably topped the group. England, us are second with three points. Scotland have four. Czech Republic have two in third. 
and Croatia have won. So, yeah, I think we kind of need to beat the Czech Republic. We might be all right with just a point, but we really want to make sure with a win. And so that is going to be in the next episode. If you've enjoyed this video, pop a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 2021 content. TEW 2020 content is coming very soon and a lot of other stuff. Follow me on Twitter at TaylorMGaming. And yep, guys, that is everything for today. I'll see you next time. Come on, England.